Hi everyone, Mr. E here with another Tinkercad SimLab tutorial and in this one we're learning about the slider connector which allows you to create linear motion in Tinkercad SimLab. Now these connectors are kind of new. If you watch some of my older SimLab tutorials you'll see that I tried to make a car in motion without the connectors but these connectors allow you to create much more variable motion and real world motion within SimLab simulations. Now the slider connector allows us to create linear motion. So for example, I'm going to drag the slider connector out and I'm going to center it with this polygon shape using my align tool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the body handle, that's the orange handle, to my polygon. Now I don't have another shape here, so I'm not going to attach any other handles. But what I am going to do is lift my polygon up. And if we run the simulation, you'll see that it falls linearly. Now, you might be thinking, well, yeah, wouldn't it do that without the slider? And in this case, yeah, it would do something kind of like that, although you'll see that our bounce was also perfectly linear, and you can learn how to trace this bounce using the trace function in my other tutorial videos. But what happens if I pivot my slider and change its angle? Well, now watch how this falls. It still falls in a linear fashion, but it fell in a linear fashion based on the connector. So this allows us to create a consistent linear motion. So let's go back to the design stage and improve this design a little bit, right? Let's say that we're making some type of conveyor belt. So if I take a box and perhaps a second box, let's turn this into a nice conveyor, something like this. And let's bring another box out and place it on our conveyor. Let's make it a little bit smaller, right? And maybe brown, as if it's a cardboard box on our conveyor here, okay? Now, just for the sake of things, I'm also gonna raise this conveyor up and let's head back over to SimLab. First, what I'm gonna do is make this conveyor static. So that's not gonna move. And then I'm gonna bring out my slider connector. I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees so it matches the direction of my conveyor, the direction of motion that I want, and I'm going to align it with the conveyor using the align tool. If I click on the conveyor, I can actually align to the conveyor, meaning that only the connector moves and the conveyor will stay in place. Now I'm gonna attach the body handle, that's that orange handle, to my box, and the movement, or the, uh, the shaft handle here, to my conveyor. If I run my simulation, We'll see that nothing moves because this is perfectly level. But if we give our box a little push, you'll see that it slides in a linear fashion right off the conveyor, like so. So now we have our nice linear motion. And if I reset the scene and actually rotate things a little bit, you'll see that that happens perfectly on its own as we go. Let's go back to our Tinkercad design real quick. What happens if we add a wall right here at the end of our conveyor, something like so. And I'm gonna set this wall to also be static, but I'm gonna make the wall a nice bouncy rubber. I'm also gonna make this box bouncy rubber. And let's see what happens now. We should see that our box bounces off this wall and gives us a nice bounce in that linear motion using our slider. For the sake of time, I'm gonna only talk about the slider connector in this video, but if you wanna learn about the other connectors, check out my other tutorials. Thanks so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe.